The next one then is the six ring key holder, um, obviously also a monogram, um, with the fuchsia interior. And I bought this because I loved the color of the interior. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I am so happy to see you here. Um, today I am back with a video that was requested quite a while ago. Um, it is my Louis Vuitton monogram collection. And it was requested quite a long time ago, but I knew that there were a few pieces still to come. So I wanted to wait until I think this is pretty much it for a while. I don't think there's any more monogram um, coming for a while that I can foresee. Never say never and all that, but not that I, I, I can have on my mind at the minute. Um, and I have narrowed it down to the classic monogram. I do have a few limited edition pieces that have like the black and white monogram on them, or I have the escal, which is the larger monogram. And I have a few pieces of say the clothing and the shoes that maybe have a monogram zip or a monogram button and I'm not including any of them um, because it would really be an awful lot um, and I think just to keep it to the true monogram I think that's if you've clicked on this that's what you're clicking to see so we'll stick to that monogram and we'll get jump straight in I don't even really I'm looking at that monogram all over my floor um, and I don't really know where to start um, okay if we start with the uh, toiletries first so i'll start with the toiletry 15. this little guy when i got this i was super excited to get this little guy and when if you've watched the unboxing you can see that this one i'm gonna move that back it's blown it out um this is a made in spain piece and if you've watched the unboxing for this little guy and um, i was so excited because it's so cute it just looks so darn cute and I, I had never seen it in real life whenever it arrived, so I was totally in love. But I, to be honest, was super excited. Uh, oh, hello, he's barking at someone. Um, I was super excited because of the cuteness. I never realised just how much I would use this. This is in my handbag now uh, as a daily. Um, there are plasters in there, tissues in there, heel plasters, throat sweets, hand cream, spare contact lenses. There will be migraine tablets in there somewhere. Um, and that is in my bag every day. It probably, ooh, it's up there for use for me with the mini pochette, which I know is a big call because it's a super popular one. Um, But I, yeah, then since I've had it, I think it's fabulous and I have used it every day in my work bag. And yeah, great little piece. The cuteness is just an added Next benefit. is the Toiletry 19. I got, did I get this one last? Um, I remember completing the trifecta and being really happy. But I can't, I think this one maybe came last. And to be honest, I bought this one to complete the trifecta. I think it was this one. And again, because it's cute and I like the size. And because I probably got a little bit sucked into them being hard to get. And then they became available online during lockdown. But you can see, I have used it. There's like a stain down there, which I assume is, is like Chargel or hair or something. Um inside there are still some earbuds and there's the little Louis Vuitton sign or the little card sorry and this one is also Louis Vuitton made in Spain so I have used it a bit I haven't used it as much as the other two to be honest I use the 15 every day in my handbag I use the 26 when we travel so anytime we've taken a weekend away or if I have to pack to go anywhere, anything, I use the 26 for my toiletries. And this one, I have, I think I've used once or twice when I needed to take some extra toiletries, but it definitely doesn't get used as much. It's the toiletry 26 and it is made in France. I think the other two were Spain and this is the only one that's France. This one, as you can see, um, what does it have? It has earbuds there for makeup, by the way, if you want to buy there and everything hair clip and then there's there's bits in there that and I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera but where like my hair oil or whatever has leaked a little bit but because it has the wipeable interior it's completely fine you can just get a baby wipe and wipe it off and then it does have as well um I don't know where though if you'll see but there are you know there's bits of speckles of bits on it as well because it is used um, and I use this as a toiletry rather than as a clutch. I've never actually used this as a clutch although I have seen some of the girls on Instagram using it as a clutch and in the photographs it looks really fabulous. I think it would be a really good size. 
part of the reason that we probably never, I've probably never thought to use it as a clutch is just with the time I bought it was during lockdown and we're not really going anywhere that would be clutch type type occasions I suppose but that's the 26 and I do use that whenever we go and I love having that in my collection I think it's a great piece okay that's that's the um toiletry trifecta so I suppose next kind of on that theme um if we go for the niece so the first one here is the niece mini and I haven't bothered taking anything out of it if you um, look inside it has a Samorga organizer that's always in it the org organizer if I could speak is it's covered in makeup so if it wasn't in there obviously the inside of it would be covered in makeup although it also has the wipeable interior I keep this in this all the time this is the way it sits it sits on my desk like this and I use it well, in, in normal life, I would use it every day because I used to wear makeup every day. That is the Nice Mini. I absolutely love it. It's a great size for me um, because it is used for makeup and kept like that on a daily basis. The Nice Baby, I don't have. Um, I think it's probably a better travel piece. But certainly if you're looking in everyday makeup that gives the look of a Louis Vuitton piece setting aesthetically. Cause I, like I would love a trunk, but I just haven't uh, reached the level of a trunk yet but <laughs> this gives the idea of an LV classic type piece sitting on your desk and I, I love it it makes me smile every time I see it which is every day and well that has to be a good thing doesn't After it? After the Nice Mini we have the Nice Nano which is the newest size of the Nice and um, it's just so cute like look at it <laughs> it's just such a cutie Um, to be honest I probably bought this um for cuteness factor and um, I didn't really know whenever I got it I, I had thought maybe perfumes maybe I did have perfume sitting in it for a while at the minute I have I have I think perfume yeah I have all my perfume samples in it if anybody knows my handbag collection or my bag collection I link somewhere the mini collection I love mini bags I would wear a lot of mini bags so these samples I tend to keep um, because I can take them out, put them in the mini bag. I generally will have one in my key clay normally and it lets me just take the perfume with me without having to take a bigger bottle of perfume. Now, I completely accept these nanos, you know, quite an expensive little piece to be holding sample perfumes in. And to be honest, I live in a house full of boys and that gets a bit trying at times. I am forever tripping over footballs, Legos, Spider-Man, Batman, The Flash is a big one in our house at the minute. It's just boy central. And I, this space here that when I finally get it completely organised, I will do a, a closet tour of for you. Um, this space here is meant to be my space. Now, if you've watched a load of my videos, you'll know that there's toys off to the side of the camera and they're there to keep the boys entertained while I get ready. So they've crept in. My husband's stuff has crept in, but I, as much as I can, keep this space my space. And like, I wouldn't be the girliest of girlies. I, I probably would be a, a cross between a tomboy girly or a girly tomboy. And and I, I try to keep this space just where I come to just, phew, just, just breathe and just take a minute and get away from the day and get away from the madness and get away from the footballs and just just breathe and to be honest I bought it knowing that I was buying it to sit in my room and I didn't really and I think that's okay as long as you know that going in as long as you're not then you know needing a purpose for it that is an actual purpose you can I have tried it cross body um and it is really really cute with a strap on it and going cross body really really cute and I would wear it like that. I If I had the right outfit, I definitely wouldn't rule that out. I would wear it like that because it's such a cute size. Um, But I bought it to sit in here and to look pretty and hold whatever I was putting in it at the time. But to make this space more mine and more about me and what I love. And I'm going off on a huge tangent and a rant and <laughs> apologize. Just skip past it if it's boring. But yeah, that's that's why I don't really mind that... It's not really being totally functional all the time. I look at it every day and it makes me smile every day. And that's that really. I think I'll go key holders. So the first one that I have, and you guys have seen a lot if you've watched my videos, is the four ring, oh, upside down, the four ring key holder. 
it has my keys in it at the minute. It normally has my keys in it again because I use mini bags quite a lot. Um, it, it's just the slimmest and it slips into the mini bag, not taking up very much space. And I don't need to be swapping my keys out um, if I'm using my bigger bag whenever full during the week for work and then into the smaller bag. So generally, um, that is where my keys are in basically nearly every day. I, actually, I'm telling you, like, I haven't swapped out of that since I went into it. Yeah, I've been using that constant since I actually the got next it. Next one then is the six ring key holder, um, obviously also in monogram, um, with the fuchsia interior. And I bought this because I loved the colour of the interior. I know, I know, I know. And that is, I am trying to get, you know, better. I used to be a lot better. I used to be, I used to have absolutely zero money at all. I could hardly pay rent each month. And I was so good at budgeting and, you know, really mindful purchases not luxury because i couldn't afford luxury but even just like you know white bread or brown bread mindful type pur purchases but yeah so i know i know but you'll see in the background here like i love this color and i am a real sucker for this color so when this came online and it's made in france as well the this the four key is also made in france i did buy it because i i just loved the color and i thought at the time my thinking behind it was when we go a bit more back to real life that i put my car key in it and move my keys over i haven't tried that yet at the minute i've just been um lifting my car key separately but um i should try that actually to see if i could put the car key in there even if it was hanging out and then have the rest of my keys in but so far i haven't i haven't come out of the four key the last key holder then is the wee key clay. Um, I don't use this for my keys. It has my bank fob. It has my old fashioned uh, wire headphones. Laugh if you want. Uh, laugh if you want. Those other things are just not for me. I know I spend a lot of money on handbags, but tech gadget e things wouldn't really be something that I would you know bother too much with. They don't really interest me. Um, and I have nectar cards in there too. So that would be my last little key pouch um i have this in damier bean as well and um, i use both of them every day actually for work next then if we do key charms and i only have one and it's this one and i absolutely love it i bought this because of this side i love this heart and um, i have actually the boots from the patches series with this heart on it and does my jacket have this I'm not sure um I just love I love this heart print and when I was buying one of my handbags I was going to buy the patches version because I loved this but I didn't know if if I might be better with the classic plain one which normally I wouldn't I normally would go for the one with the print but something in this time made me get a clap the plain and then I bought this to go with it because then I could basically add the same symbol on and that I would generally have on and that's generally on my pochette matisse hanging um and i i love just the heart one i think it's fine coin purses and i have two the first one i have is the plain round monogram coin purse that is discontinued and really super popular um i'm not sure why they discontinued this because i know it's very sought after um maybe with the world current situation will we use coins less maybe there'll be less use for this i'm not sure i do have coins in it we still in our currency um use coins quite a bit i will either have at any time sterling sterling coins and euro coins um because i'd be over the up and down over the border quite a bit um and i just keep it for coins for parking for toll bridges that sort of thing and i find it really useful i also like the circle second coin purse is this little beauty and it is the vivian from the christmas 2019 collection i just thought this was stunning um bright blue interior it still has all the tags because i still haven't used this Oh, if you watched my least and best, no, least and most, five least most used SLGs, this was in it at the time and it's still, I still haven't used it and it's it's just so stunning. The colour inside is beautiful. The print is beautiful. I bought it because I loved the print, Um, but I've had silk screening pieces from Louis Vuitton before that aren't in my collection anymore and it does chip if you use it quite a lot of chips. So I think I'm a bit weary to use it and I know that's pointless and ridiculous with the amount of money whenever it's it's bought not as like it's not like the nano that you buy to, leave, to sit and, and be aesthetically pleasing this is bought to be something um but no i haven't used it yet um i do love from this range the one that i missed was the paris print and i would not rule out 
if I found in excellent condition either the passport holder or the mini pochette in the Paris print, I wouldn't rule in either of those out because I thought it was absolutely stunning. Moving on then to card holders and I have one flat card holder. I thought there was a mark on there. This one flat card holder um, which has the classic monogram on one side and the reverse on the other. I've said a few times I'm really not sure about this. Um, probably should have returned it when it arrived. I'm not the biggest fan of reverse monogram. It just wouldn't be my favourite. I did like this card holder though when I saw it all over social media. Not that that had anything to do with this purchase or not. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> um, I haven't used it. Um, yeah, I bought after that, which obviously isn't in this because it isn't monogram, but I bought the Escal one in the bright colours, which I have been using because I love the bright colours. I should have listened to... Here's a tip. Here's a lesson. I should have listened to my gut whenever this arrived and I unboxed it. The next card... And I have a real feeling I'm missing something. And I really want to try and get everything in. Um, the next card holder I have then is the Recto Verso, the new one that isn't that long out. Um, I haven't used this yet. Um, it still has the little card on the back. I like the black uh, leather here beside the monogram. I like the way that you can put your cards in here. And I like then that you have space to put notes or coins although i probably wouldn't put coins in it because i don't like things getting very bulky and i like that you can put more cards or receipts or something in there and then you have this space too what i don't like about it um is when i bought this i had great illusions that i was going to put my cards here i was going to put my loyalty cards or oh, thought all this out I was going to put my loyalty cards in here because I'm a big lover of loyalty cards. Any receipts or anything then I was going to slip in here and I was going to put my car key on the key fob here. So I was going to put that in there and it was all going to be in one and it was going to be perfect and everybody was going to be happy. And I would have kept my house keys in the four car or the four key ring holder. The difficulty with that is whenever I tried to put everything in it is when you put your key fob in here, it gets really, really bulky. So even the one key fob, and I don't think my key fob is one of the biggest. Is my husband's bigger? Um, Yeah, I don't think it's one of the biggest. If you, if you guys want, I'll do a review on this, um, an honest one, um, because it gets bulky. You put your key fob in, you zip this up, this all went skew if because this was packed and this was packed and then you were putting your cards in and it just wasn't the way that I thought it was going to be. Now that being said, I still like it. I still think to put cards in it and loyalty cards in it and receipts in it. I still think it is a good card holder um, and a little bit. You could put a few coins in here, you know, just till you got home if you didn't want to carry anything separate for them. So I do think it still has good function that way. I don't think it has as much, this is turning into a review, I apologise if you're not interested in this piece, just skip past. But it's not as functional as I thought it would be or as it, I think it's maybe intended to be if you want your car key or your fob or your keys in there. Um, I suppose you could keep the fob there. I might actually try that, keep my car fob on that and then put my cards and the rest on the outside because it like it I do think it's quite funky I quite like the look of it I like the aesthetics I like the black against the monogram and I like this little um envelope type purse on the front I do like that so I would like to find a way to make it work but that's where I'm at with it at the minute um if anybody's interested let me know and I will I'll do a review of it whenever I'm playing about with it a bit more and let you know if I've come on any further then moving on to proper wallets I only have one left I used to have a what did I have? I had a long zippy wallet in the vernis leather, which was the same colour as, see that, the bag behind the Chanel bucket bag, that deep, deep pink Indian rose. I had the vernis zippy wallet in that colour, which I adored. Absolutely loved. Love that colour. For using in the Neverfull, the size wasn't a problem. Um, and for the working week, everything in the same place was great. I 
didn't know much about. It was one of the, I, I got it in honeymoon, so it was one of the first pieces I had. Didn't know much about looking after Vernet leather, didn't know what Vernet leather was. Um, <laughs> and carried it out of my gynecologist appointment with a scan picture of um, a pregnancy. And I carried the wallet here and the scan picture on the wallet and I did that because I was so happy at being pregnant I've had problems there so happy with you know the scan and having the picture and everything being okay and I didn't realize that whenever I tried to if I show you on my victory wallet when I tried to like lift it off the scan picture was stuck to it I had to peel it off and the scan the blackness of the scan was imprinted on the side of the Renee so if you have Renee pieces don't do that same with magazines, photographs, anything that's kind of shiny, just be very careful. And it, it doesn't come out. It was completely ruined. It, it just doesn't come out. So that one I got rid of because it, it like it broke my heart to look at it. There was definitely no joy using that piece. And then I had also the Zippy wallet in monogram with one of the limited edition prints on it. And I really, really liked it. I loved the print. It was one of the the print with the old fashioned car and the Louis Vuitton boxes and um it was really really beautiful but the silk screening chipped and the more that it chipped the less I liked using it so I sold it with full disclosure of the chipping and um, I sold it in Bestiaire Collective before it got to the point that nobody would enjoy it or use it just the more I looked at the chips it just I it it just didn't bring me joy anymore. Um and yeah, so I moved it on. So the only wallet that's left in my collection is the Victorine wallet. And this one is fairly fairly new because um I was out of wallets really then. Um I have an old Ted Baker one which I love, but it was falling apart. So my husband and my boys gifted this to me for Mother's Day this year. Um, because it let's be honest, it's been a crappy year. And normally for Mother's Day or anything like that, we wouldn't go presents this sort of level in fact my husband doesn't buy luxury just does not buy it doesn't get it at all um but they bought it this year and it is the victorine wallet which i am using obviously because there's my cards in it there are some receipts and some money in it it is in the uh, rose ballerine interior it is made in france the button so far is still all good but as i say i haven't had it that long so it hasn't been used that much and then inside should be oh my goodness I've forgotten to take them out. I was about to say that inside should be perfectly clean because I don't keep... You can see how tight it is because I don't keep coins in there. So normally when I... I've forgotten about those. So when I come home or back to the office or whatever, I will take the coins out of there and put them in the coin purse because I just... I don't like it. And I don't know, first world, all that, but I just don't like it. So that is my Victorine wallet. I'm sorry, some of those turned into mini reviews. That got a bit long. Um, but I think this is a great one. Absolutely love this wallet and it's very usable, especially even in small bags. I should have known this video was going to be very long um, with <laughs> my rambling and also the amount of monogram in this house. So the next piece is my agenda and this is the agenda in the monogram, obviously in the GM size. And I absolutely love this. I use this every day. You never even know what is going to be in this when you open it up. So there are receipts clipped inside. There is, I like little like positive things to get me through the day. There is a drawing from my oldest tucked in the back. Um, there's a postcard from Paris. Just little sentimental things. I've said in other videos, I'm a very sentimental person. Um, there's more receipts, there's money, there's loose pages. And then there's all of everything that's in there. So I love these. To anybody that has been on the fence about the agenda, if you are a stationary person, which I am, I absolutely love stationary. I would be a bit of a geek. Um, I have specific pens that I will, I know, <laughs> if I lift that back. Um, I like ink pens. I actually linked them down below at one point. I will again because someone had asked me about them. Um, I like inky pens for writing. But if you're a bit of a stationery geek like myself, I adore stationery. And you would get the use sort of a paper diary. So like if you're a gadget person that never touches paper, it's an uh, expensive agenda maybe not to use 
But if you use paper and you're a stationary person, I love it. I, I use it every day. I use it for work. I use it now for YouTube, for videos and things like that. I use it for personal planning, finances. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. I had looked at it years before when it was much cheaper and didn't do it. And I don't know why, because I have never looked back. I think that is all of the SLG non-handbag monogram, I think. I have a real feeling that I have forgotten something. Um but I I can't I just can't think. I think that's it. So I move on the handbags and just to get it out of the way first, because you've all seen this so many times. This is my Never Full in the GM size. It was the first Louis Vuitton bag I ever got. It is destroyed. Needs to be retired. I'm fed up saying that in videos because I'm sure you're thinking, go ahead and do it already. Um, I just haven't bought another one and I said before I think I haven't jumped on buying another one because one it's replacing the same thing only it's now double the price and two because we're not really outside the office so it's house to office house to office whereas before I would have been out and about a lot and I think if I was out and about a lot I definitely would have replaced this already because like you know you know let's just like you know she's an old lady she's got plenty of wrinkles and scars and cracks and all those things she has stood me well her cost per wear would be about not point not 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 one p per time something like that and so that's my first ever louis vuitton bag and everything else is in there from during the day you can see that there's the damier bean pieces that are obviously in this and there's that um other fabulous colorful um card holder which i love damn me i've been um so that is that is my everyday work bag Um, people say it's basic i really don't like that um louis vuitton is a top tier designer luxury house it may be the more accessible range within louis vuitton their canvas pieces that is but in my personal view and no shade no no disrespect to anybody that feels differently but in my personal view a bag at that sort of money like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM now is about 1100 pounds to call that basic in my view just it, just it just doesn't sit right like I I remember not being able to afford a bag from Primark um and the thought that any Louis Vuitton bag would become basic is just not me it just doesn't sit with me at all um, I, for one, saved for my first Louis Vuitton bag, the one you've just saw, for many, many years. I bought it for my 30th birthday. But I was 30 before I had any of this. Pete, that was my first. I, my then boyfriend, now husband, offered to buy it for me for my 30th, but I wouldn't let him because it was such a big thing to me that I had saved the money for years to buy this bag. And he took me to Rome for my 30th, so I bought it in Rome. And that was such a big thing that I wanted to be able to do that for myself. And I remember the feeling of pride and achievement. There are photographs of me grinning like an idiot with the old chocolate brown Louis Vuitton carrier bag. And I just, I was beaming. And to think that a bag like that now, if I ever become the person that looks down on a bag like that, and feels it's a basic and would call it basic and I don't know too many people that are calling it basic in a complimentary way I never ever ever want to become that person and if I do somebody take me aside and slap me really really hard and very sorry I went off on a rant there um that that's total rant that's my own issues and in the meantime are you going to say hello Am I talking to the video? Yeah. <laughs> Is mommy silly? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> See, boys everywhere, even in the girliest room in the house. Anyway, so moving on, what, what's next? Okay, so then um, after the Neverfill and my rant about, and I don't mean any offence to anybody that, you know, does think that, Anyway, I'm, no, I'm not even going there again. So the next the next bag that came for me, Louis Vuitton canvas-wise, is the Pochette Matisse. And I love this bag. Um, I find this bag so usable. 
I for me that has a lot of mini bags, this is actually, <laughs> you know, imagine the posh at Matisse being one of your bigger bags. But because I have a lot of mini bags and small bags, this is actually a really good sized bag for me for fitting more. So whenever I need to carry, you know, wallet, keys, phone, um, maybe some work notes, just a bit more stuff than normal than really down size. This is the only thing annoys me about this, and I say this in every video, the lock just isn't the easiest. But yeah, this was the next one. I think it's a great bag. I know some people are saying that it's maybe past its its prime or it's been about a bit. I really don't care. Like I personally, I don't care if bags are in trend or not in trend or over trend or I don't, I just don't care. For me, if I like it, I'm going to use it and I'm going to wear it. I don't like videos that, you know, I've watched some and clicked out when people are telling me like, my Valentino heels aren't cool anymore or something, something. I, I don't care. If I like it, I'm going to wear it, whether it's in trend or not. And I still like the Pochette Matisse. I think it is a great bag. I particularly like it in autumn. Um, I think it goes very well with autumn looks, autumn colours. It doesn't want to play ball and sit nicely for me on this seat. But um, <laughs> I think it goes really well with... Ah! <laughs> this is not working up there so i think it goes really really well with autumn looks autumn winter coats big scarves hats and i just with the kind of tones of autumn and um, i think the pochette matisse goes really really well and is a great bag um in my humble opinion anyway so the next one that we have in the monogram collection for me is my palm springs mini um i wanted this for the longest time and couldn't get it um I have since developed a great essay, so I might not have had quite as much problems, but I just couldn't get it at the time. I eventually got it um, when we went into lockdown, as many of us found things became available online that are never normally available. So I was able to pick that up then. It is the new zipper version, which I'm very happy about. I do like to wear it with the pochette Matisse strap as well. I have worn it with its own straps, but I like the pochette Matisse strap. I do wear it cross body most of the time. I've never worn it as a backpack. I have worn it by the top handle on occasion. I want to get, um, if anybody has one to recommend me, I know there's a couple on in Instagram of the companies. I want to get one of the chains that you link between here and here and the chain goes like this and I want to get a gold one. I think they look really good on them. Um, so I need to get that. And that is, is that the one before the last maybe? Oh, we're nearly at the end. We have one more in my monogram collection and it is this little beauty, the Nano Speedy. Now, the Nano Speedy. Now, now. I love this bag. Obviously, love small bags, love mini bags. But why? Why, Louis Vuitton, did you not just make the strap detachable and adjustable? Like, it's not rocket science. Do you think, I I don't know, was it to keep the price point lower maybe? Um, I don't know, but with the hype of this bag, you could add it on a few pounds and let's be real, we were all going to buy it anyway. Um, but I, I really like it. I like the bag. I think I have done a video on this. It's just got its stuffing and I linked the video because it holds so much more than you would think it does. It's actually a really good little bag. It's really light, which I love. It's great for shopping, great in the summer. The only thing, and I'm tempted to do it, is cut this off. Somebody did leave me a comment on my last video that they had done it and don't regret it. And I'm really tempted to cut it off. Um... Let me know your thoughts on that down below. If you have any particular view or if you've done it, maybe let me know that. Um, but I, it's t I'm tempted to just whack it off on it. Just it sits not too bad, but it would just be better if it, if it could be moved. So that is my Louis Vuitton monogram collection. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the little rants you got in the middle. Um, <laughs> um, I still have a feeling I've forgotten something. Um, but I can't for the life of me think what it would be um i'm even thinking back over the unboxings but i can't think so i think that is my um my louis vuitton monogram collection thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this if you have any questions or any comments to make please do leave them uh, in the comment box down below and i will get back to you take care thank you for sharing some of your time with me i hope you're well i hope your family's well and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>